Go is a strategy game that was invented in China about two and a half thousand years ago. It's believed to be the oldest board game that's been continuously played to the present day. Although Go's rules are very simple, the game can be incredibly complex. The number of all possible legal positions in Go has been calculated to be about 10 to the 170, whereas for chess the number is about 10 to the 45. The playing pieces are called stones. One player has white stones, the other black. Unlike chess, all the stones are equal, all move in the same way and look identical. Also, stones can't be moved or taken back once they're placed on the game board, but they can be captured by the opponent. Stones are placed on intersections, not on the lines or inside the squares, as in chess or checkers. At each turn, players put just one stone on the board. The main goal is to gain more territory than the opponent. In Go, black plays first. This gives an advantage to black, so in return, white gets a bonus score called Komi to make the game fair. Although there's no strict rule as to what Komi should be, it's usually between 4.5 and 7.5 points. Komi almost always includes a half point for breaking ties. At the end of the game, Komi is added to White's score. The standard Go board is 19 by 19 and contains 361 points. There are also 13 by 13 and 9 by 9 boards which are generally preferred by beginners or those wanting a quick game. When one player surrounds the other player's stone or stones, the surrounded stones are captured and they're removed from the board. The surrounding intersection points of a stone or group of stones are called liberties. When all liberties are blocked by the opponent, the stone or group of stones are captured and removed from the board. If you place a stone somewhere in the middle of the board, your opponent must block four liberties to capture your stone. So at the start of the game, it's not a good idea to place the first stone to edges that have three liberties or corners that have two liberties. Also, the shape of groups is important in Go. For example, although these two groups have equal number of stones, they have different number of liberties. This group has eight liberties, while this one has seven. So the second group can be captured more easily. If one stone or a group of stones has just one liberty, the situation is called Atari and the stone or group can be captured on the next move if it's unable to attain additional liberties. Players can't place a stone where the stone won't have any liberty. For example, if white places a stone to this intersection, the white stone doesn't have any liberty. Therefore, this is an illegal move. But this suicide move is allowed in some sets of rules, such as Ing rules, New Zealand rules, and Trump-Taylor rules. An illegal move can turn to a legal move during the game. For example, if white plays like this, the illegal point turns to a playable point because if white places a stone here, it can capture black stone. However, after the white move, Black can place a stone here and also capture white stone. This situation can be endless and go on forever. It has a special name, Ko. The Ko rule deals with this deadlock. If white captures black first, black can't place a stone here immediately and must place a stone somewhere else. However, if white doesn't place a stone here, black can now place a stone and capture white stone. After that, the same rule applies to white. White can't place a stone here immediately, but must place the stone on a different intersection point. 
When there's no useful move left, the player passes. If one player passes, he or she must give a stone to the opponent. When both black and white declare passes, the game ends. In Go, white must make the last move since black starts the game. So white has to pass after black. After the game ends, if there are neutral territories which are not completely surrounded by either player's stones on the board, they are filled by black and white. White places a stone on the neutral point first, then black does. Then dead stones are removed from the board. Sometimes players don't want to capture some opponent's stones because these stones are useless for the opponent, and also if one player captures one of the dead stones, the player loses at least one point. After removing dead stones, all captured stones are placed on opponent's territories. After that, points are counted for black and white. Finally, white gets Kao Mi, the bonus score. And the player who has the highest score wins the game.